Hi guys, my name is Anna Greis, I hope you're doing well and I welcome you to a new video. While the Jetpack Compose versioning system was unified for a long time, with Jetpack Compose version 1.2 things have changed. From this version on, Jetpack Compose got rid of their old versioning system and split up into independent ones. By doing so, the development process of Jetpack Compose got way more flexible. From now on, you could independently increment version numbers of all the subgroups from Jetpack Compose. However, Jetpack Compose version 1.3 just released and a new change appeared to the versioning scheme. From now on, it's no longer recommended to independently specify your versions for each of the Jetpack Compose libraries you are using in your Android app, but to use the build of materials for Jetpack Compose. You may already be familiar with this concept if you're using, for example, Firebase in your app, because there's also a Firebase BOM available. With this BOM, you no longer need to declare all the version names independently, but receive them from that respective BOM. In our case, that's of course the Jetpack Compose BOM. If we take a look at the official documentation of the Jetpack Compose BOM, we can see the library version mapping. So as you can see here, we have version 2022 10.00. And here are all the version names listed. So for example, for Material 3, it's version 1.00 or Foundation has 1.3.0. So let's quickly jump to Android Studio. I have just created a new template project from the Material 3 template. So we already have some Jetpack Compose dependencies here. So what do we have to do in order to migrate these independent version names here to the Jetpack Compose one. The only really thing we need to do is to in, add a new dependency. We use the platform API and here we now say Android X and you can already see that the Compose Compose uh, BOM 2022 10.00 appears. Just add that. And now we can already get rid of the compose version here and also here also the material 3 one if i now sync the project let's see what happens if i open up the as you can see the project sync successfully but there's one more dependency left and that is from the android test implementation i mean we added the implementation platform what happens if we also get rid of this version here we sync once again and oh we see fail to resolve so why is that that is because we also need to add the Android test implementation platform API here with also the Jetpack Compose BOM if we want to make use of this feature here. So if I now once again uh, trigger the sync process, you can see that the Gradle sync finished successfully. When I now try to run my app, you can see that it runs successfully. But there's one more thing I want to show you. Let's think of preview versions because as you saw in the example from the documentation all the versions are official released versions and there are no preview versions so what if i want to use the preview version let's say i don't want to use the stable version of material 3 but the alpha release so i just need to add 1.10 uh, alpha 0 is the current version and as usual, I can trigger the sync process and you see the sync finishes. So you can always override the Compose BOM version with your desired version. To sum up, as you saw, it's really easy to use this Jetpack Compose BOM. It has the benefits that you only need to define one dependency for all your required Jetpack Compose libraries. However, note, as you saw, you still need to declare all your independent Jetpack Compose libraries you want to use in your app, but you no longer have the hustle to make sure that you unify all your Jetpack Compose libraries and that all the libraries are compatible because that is what Jetpack Compose, uh, the Jetpack Compose BOM finally does. All the versions that uh, the Jetpack Compose BOM includes are compatible with each other. Finally, I can only encourage you to use it. It's the recommended way if you take a look at the official doc documentation from now on. And yeah, I hope you had some takeaways. Like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, 
activate the notification bell and I hope to see you soon.